testimony the Bible said that they overcame him by the blood and the word of their testimony glory be to God if God has done something for you I want you to come and testify real quick before we do this we are almost done we are almost done so you guys could go and eat your food glory be to God anybody that have a testimony you have a testimony come come share your testimony I have a testimony I wasn't gonna say it until I talked to you privately but um so I was on a prayer I was on a prayer service online and it was October 25th I jumped on um, out of the blue I was like oh my god let me just go ahead and jump on and hear the word of God today and then as I jump on he was prophesizing and then he prophesied and said my name and said Nana Joseph God is preparing you for marriage and <laughs> And that was a month ago. And then November 18th, I got proposed to. thank God I thank God and he was like are you gonna say yes I said I gotta thank God first because you don't understand oh my God. I was told I would never get married I was told I would never be nothing but God changed me I'm so thankful I'm so happy I don't know when to stop crying but um, I'm so extremely happy and I still thank God and I pray harder because he gave me this blessing and I don't want it to go away and I just keep praying that I keep coming because Lord I tell him thank you every night every day that I wake up because without him this none of this would have been possible and I say if you guys don't believe let me tell you something keep going keep believing because he, he works in mysterious ways <laughs> my god what a testimony come on y'all come on god is doing amazing things it seems like god is speaking and is coming to pass speedily come on we got one more come on come on come and share your testimony my god Glory be to God, everyone. Um, about a month ago, you already been here for a month, right? Um, uh, Prophet Nayan was um, doing the prayer, prophesying. And um, after we done the um, sowing the seed, it was $200. How many of you come here and don't want to sow a seed, a sacrificial seed? Who can relate, right? So um, I didn't want because I had my tithes prepared. So uh, I, was, I wasn't ready to sacrifice, uh, to put a sacrifice for show sure, um sit down and i be, i i remember he specifically he specifically said he was going that way he said there is anointing coming um go there's anointing here in this place anything you act you act in this anointing you would receive it within 12 days so 12 days yes and i had issues with my car back and forth back and forth and i was going back there praying praying while he said that i said okay god i'm gonna i'm gonna have my speak and uh, my seeds work for me so i said god um i i said i needed a car so i i i asked for the car and um, before the 12 days end, it was gonna end on a Thursday. And I got a car, I received a car, received the car, <laughs> received the car, brand new 2020, that I didn't pay no money for, that I didn't put no money for, that I didn't do anything. So it, it, it not only gave me what I asked, but it did it exceedingly, abundantly. Anything you can think or imagine. So he's a good prophet, I can say, because what he said, goes so God and believe in a God when you ask he shows himself so um, boom boom <laughs> so thank you thank you for for letting God use God bless you come on we got one more come on clap your hands come on y'all how you doing church <laughs> good morning praise the Lord all right I got testimony as well um 
like um, Evangelist says, when um, when Prophet was here, I think uh, the first time we had to come up to, he said, if you believe, um, as far as in your business and finances, you know, come up and sow in two hundred dollar seed. So you know, I've been blessed over the, over the past years, um, especially this year as well. My business um, with real estate. So so I came up. I said, you know, I'm believing in God to keep you know keep me keep me growing as far as in my business, my real estate. Um, you know, in all aspects of life as well. So I came up, so two hundred dollars seat that Sunday. Then, then that Wednesday, <laughs> um, my wife took took my car to to go training with um, with a personal trainer. Then she came out. Somebody hit the back of my car. <laughs> car was car was parked. Somebody hit the back back of my car. Bubba came off. The person left. So. Um, so luckily, thank God, somebody across the street saw who uh, who did it. Then they was uh, able to get the person's phone number. Then the person um, gave my wife their phone number, and they said they gonna fix the bumper and everything like that. So we bought it to the shop. Um, it cost like twenty six hundred dollars to fix. I, you know, he fixed it, so I didn't go through insurance. Thank God. Then, um, then I was there. I was talking to the mechanic. You know, by the time I was picking up my car up, I told him, you know, I do real estate. Uh, here's two of my cars. You know, if you know. Anybody that's looking for a house or that's looking to sell, you know, tell them uh, to call me. They was like, I'm looking for some properties. I was like, okay, that's fine. When it, whenever you're ready, let me know. Then two days later, I'm, a, I'm in the car driving to like a, an appointment. Um, then, you know, this number called me. I, I ignored the call because I was on the, on the phone already. Then five minutes later, they called me again. It was like, Johnny. Uh, is this Johnny uh, Real Estate? I'm like, yeah. I'm looking for an apartment. I just got your um, your card from the mechanic. I'm looking for an apartment. Can you help me? I'm like, sure. So after we finished that conversation, she told me what she wanted. Then I told her, you know, give me a week. I'll find you an apartment. Last Sunday after church, we went and closed on her apartment. It took a week, and she was we was able to get it done. So I'm telling you, uh, I'm telling you this because. Like Prophet said, everything works out for the good, right? This came this came from a car accident right. into a, a real estate transaction. So I thank God for that. God bless you, man. Come on. Let's give God a big hand for their testimonies. And how many people know that you are going to be the next in line to share your testimony? God is getting ready to do something. Come on. Come give you. You want to give a testimony? Yeah. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord, guys. Um, my testimony is uh, for the hurricane Ida, my house was flood of water. And uh, I had a lot of mold downstairs and everything. And the insurance company still didn't answer my claim. But my, when the, the prophet asked for $200 seed, I said, I'm going to plant the $200. I know God is going to work for me. And believe me, church, God sent, and so many companies I call, they come in, so many people ask for $18,000. Some ask for 12000 Some asking for 11000 A lot of money. And uh, God sent me a company with free of charge to do all my best bet for me for free. That's how God can work. So when the prophet asked somebody to put, you know, drop a seed, don't hesitate, guys. Just put it because God is going to work on your favor. God bless you all. Am I speaking to somebody? And Father, we establish every testimony, every prophecy upon this place. And if you're a person that desire to be married, lift up your hands. The same grace, the same angel that visited her, I prophesy over your life that within next year by this time, you will be honored in the world. Your financial boys will locate you. Your husband, your wife is on the way. I prophesy that anything that is holding your spouse is letting them go now. Come on, y'all. Can I pray for you? 